Ciao Swima, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefan. You can find me on Instagram by the name Stefan TTT and today I'm going to react to the song that will represent Poland in Eurovision Song Contest 2023. So, if you want to know what I think about this song and the performance and what is my final rating of it, keep on watching. Somebody under the friends video wrote a comment and I quote Don't forget to make a reaction in Poland. It's a tradition for you hating our songs. Somebody will assume that I do this on purpose, but is it me? Am I the drama? <laughs> no, really, I have nothing against Polish entry when they're good. They weren't in the past few years, let alone against Poland and Polish people in general. My rule is that if I don't like something, I will call it out in my own style. It is really nothing personal and I think I'm allowed to dislike something, especially on my own channel, as well as you are allowed to disagree with me or to hate me in the comment section down below. You know, I really have the option to turn off the commenting, but I'm not doing it on purpose because I really want you to have the freedom to express your own opinion and in the end of the day, hate me as much as you like. Nevertheless, Poland this year has hosted a high production show and I really appreciate that. I do believe that Poland is a country with lots of talented artists and to get a platform to show all of that is really amazing. However, this year's winner is a little bit controversial. Poland has decided that Blanca will represent them in May in Liverpool with her song Solo, but people are speculating online that this result was fixed in advance. As much as I understood this result was fixed by the national broadcaster I have no idea whether this is true or not if you have some information or opinion about this whole mess please let me know in the comments down below because I'm looking forward to hear every gossip I can as far as the song is concerned I didn't hear it I was saving myself for this video so without any further ado let's see what the fuss is all about I actually really want to break the tradition of me hating the songs hopefully this is the one don't let me down, Poland. Pam, 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 pam. She is very pretty from the thumbnail. And she loves her name, obviously. <laughs> Baby, how else to phrase it? What? With you, I lost my senses. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 need to, I need to start again. I, I'm not really sure. Okay, I need to start again. This is. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna rewind it. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look the tradition will be broken. It doesn't sound like that. The, uh, am I, am I deaf? Am I the only one like hearing this? I mean, the visual is cool and she's really pretty, but... She has soul written on her chest. I mean, it's not a bad song, but she is completely out of tune. She's like, so love, so love. <laughs> This is a joke. This, this must be a joke. This, this is a prank. No, no, no. Poland didn't send this to Eurovision. No, I, they actually did. This is the official, the official video. <laughs> this is... My ears are bleeding. What the fuck?
Like she is, she cannot hit a tune. Like everything is out of tune from the moment she started till this very moment. Where are we at? One thirty-two. Like I just want this to end. My ears. No, oh, oh, it's not how it goes. Let me spend it out. Ow. Now, but it's solo, solo. <laughs> Okay, if you cannot fight it, just roll with it. So let's go. Of course, of course, she has this bitchy move. Because that's who she is. Oh. <laughs> like her mannerism of singing so low, so low. I cannot. Uh, like, how come that the country that has like 30, 40 million people decides to choose this? I just don't want to believe that this was the best in the competition. Because if it was, Houston, we have a problem. Ow! <laughs> This is so stupid. It is so stupid. It looks like a high school play. It looks like um, an expensive karaoke party. And the girl who took the mic is drunk as hell. She cannot hit a tune. She doesn't know the song. She was just like, Zala, Zala. <laughs> Well, you gotta give her credit for courage. It was really brave to show up in front of the whole world watching and do this. So, I, I, I need that type of self-esteem in 2023, honestly. So, let's start with something positive. She is pretty. Her hair looks nice. She has a cute little outfit. The dancers were completely okay. I'm fine with them. I even like the staging. It's fun, it's cute, girly, but everything else was a complete disaster. I honestly think that this is one of the worst performances that we ever saw on Eurovision stage. I mean, we still didn't see it in Eurovision stage. Maybe she's gonna fix her singing. Maybe she's gonna fix the song, which will not happen probably, but I can for sure say that this is, uh, this is not even worth commenting. This is a complete waste of time for everybody included. From the people who made the song, for the performer, her, and for us listening to this. Complete waste of time. This is pure trash. Solo, solo. I mean, it has this catchy moment, but guys, I am not doing this on purpose, I swear. I don't want to hate Polish entry, but I cannot believe that the person who made a song was like, yes, this song, this performer, this is going to be the changing game for Poland this year. Mm, it will be because Poland was amongst top 10 in the odds and now they're slowly falling all the way in the back. And for a good reason, this is incredibly bad. Nobody ever should be punished to listen to this song twice. Therefore, I really believe she should not qualify if this stays the same. If I was her, I wouldn't bother with this song. I wouldn't bother with the vocal as it is at the moment. Maybe she was too nervous, maybe. But she doesn't look nervous. She just looks like a person who has a good career when it comes to online presence. But you know, even in Serbia, I see a lot of these new singers who have these very overproduced songs and when they want to sing the songs live, they just go down the road. Nowadays, we call them recording artists, but for me, singer really needs to know how to sing and this girl cannot do it. There are cases, of course, when people are not the best singers, like Chanel last year, like Eleni Pureira, 
But you know, with their charisma, the fire they have under their asses, they make most out of those songs, most out of their vocal capacities, and they make us fall in love with them. I would leave her be the Instagram model, the TikToker, but please leave the stage for somebody who knows what to do. And if the rumors are true that this result was actually fixed, and that somebody pushed her directly to Eurovision, then it's even, I have no words to explain how does that make me feel. It's even, not worse, but it's the blackest mud you can fall into. I'm not gonna rant anymore about it, so drum rolls, please. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> My final rating, and this is going to be the first this year, is going to be a solid one. I would give it a zero if zero is a mark here, but unfortunately I'm giving rates from one to ten and this is going to be not one. It, it, it's basically the Empire State Building. This is how huge this one is. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't take anything I said personally, but this is the most realistic opinion I could give right here, right now. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching me one more time. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please tell me what do you think about this performance and about this song in general. I'm dying to find out your opinion about all of this huge mess. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you one more time and see you in the next video. Ciao!